Welcome back to Vlatlix. Today we are making one of the most requested cocktails from you guys, penicillin. Let's go! This incredible, delicious modern classic cocktail was created by bartender Sam Ross at super famous cocktail bar Milk and Honey in New York. It is pretty expensive to make at home since it includes both blended and single malt whiskey. But our first version will be close to original penicillin and you don't have to spend your entire paycheck on ingredients. We also will use minimum bar tools. Let's start with lemon, cut one wedge, we will use it later to garnish this cocktail and now squeeze 3 quarters of an ounce of fresh juice. Pour it into shaker or in any cup that you can close and shake it like mason jar maybe. <laughs> Let's use the most expensive blended scotch in Walmart and pour two ounces. Sure you still have honey on your kitchen since you purchased it earlier to make top 10 cocktails from New York City, right? And now it's the perfect time to use it again, add half an ounce. Now fill up shaker all the way to the top with your ice from refrigerator and since we used honey, let's shake it for at least 15 to 20 seconds. As usual, any serving glass works for our home versions. I will use chilled double rocks glass, strain everything inside and fill up with ice all the way to the top. And if you're familiar with this drink, you probably asking Vlad, but where the f is ginger and smoky flavor that makes penicillin so rich and complex? Well, my friend, I tell you that for $1.99 at Walmart, I got this smoky ginger ale and was absolutely surprised how perfectly it goes with this cocktail. Let's add one or two ounces. Garnish it with lemon and now you can reward me with like under this video for introducing you to this inexpensive version of penicillin that won't make you actually broke like our next version. First, I will make a honey ginger syrup. There are a few different ways to make it. I will show it to you both, but let's start with my favorite. Part of it will be honey syrup. Use raw honey and mix it with hot water, half and half or three to one, stir it and let it cool off. Next step, we need to make fresh ginger juice. I will take about 50 grams of ginger roots, peel off the skin entirely and say hello to my little friend. For one serving, I will use half an ounce of ginger juice mixed with the same amount of honey syrup. I'm going to pour it into the mixing glass, but don't be confused, we're still going to shake it a little later. When life gives you lemons, you squeeze 3 quarters of an ounce and keep making penicillin. I usually pour blended scotch Jenny Walker gold label, but Grant's works too. Pour 2 ounces, fill up shaker full of ice, clank 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 for 15 seconds or so and let's strain it into the double rocks glass. Put fresh ice shaped as Harry Potter's Deathly Hollows. In the original recipe they added about quarter of an ounce of Isla single malt scotch whiskey on top, which is really smoky and even if you use the most affordable Lafroic 10, it right away makes this drink one of the most expensive you make at home. And I'm going to garnish it with candied ginger. You can use fresh ginger or lemon, but creator mentioned that it's not recommended since it will interfere with the smoky flavors of whiskey on top. If you like this version, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Button. And now let's move to the most exciting part of this video, our expert version, a creative twist on penicillin cocktail. First, as promised, I will make a different version of ginger and honey syrup. Take about 50 grams of fresh ginger roots, peel off skin and cut it in small pieces. Put it in a cooking pan, now add 4 ounces of honey and also 4 ounces of water. Boil it and reduce heat and simmer for about 5 minutes. Cool it, then strain into container and keep it in the refrigerator for about 12 hours before you start mixing it. If you don't have extra $1300 to spend on a bottle of scotch, like in that BuzzFeed video where they tried the most expensive penicillin cocktail with Highland Park, 30 years old, you can try to infuse Glenfiddich with hickory wood for about 40 days. Well, unless you live in the hottest place in the world, Las Vegas, you might get smokiness from this wood even earlier. For this experiment, I put about half a bottle of whiskey into the jar, placed it in the back and kept it on the side. Now you know that hickory wood is not only great for your barbecue, but it can infuse whiskey with a smoky flavor. I'm going to pour a small amount into a separate container and keep the rest for another 40 days to see how much flavor will change. I'm going to use cobbler shaker, let's chill it with ice for a few seconds before putting our precious ingredients. Now now in a cold shaker add 2 ounces of infused smoky scotch whiskey. Next will be quarter of an ounce of Jambui. If you're not familiar with it, it's a gold color liqueur made from scotch whiskey, honey, herbs and spices. Let's roll and squeeze 3 quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now it's time to get from refrigerator our honey ginger syrup and also pour 3 quarters of an ounce. Fill up shaker all the way to the top with fresh ice and clink 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 again. 
Of course we are going to serve it in this pretty honeypot glass with a few pieces of specialty shaped customized. By the way, let me know if you want me to explain how to make it. Strain everything from the shaker. I wanted to garnish it first with real honeycombs, but the glass is so so pretty and I decided to keep it just like that without anything. Incredibly thankful to all my Patreon supporters. Please check links in the description if you'd like to support this channel and get access to extra content. As always, thanks to all of you who commented in a previous video how to steer and shake cocktails our bar set winner is self never be afraid to make something new and i'll see you in the next video